Welcome to the flight deck of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Here we go. This is Orange County John Wayne Airport, KSNA, and we're on runway 20R. V1, and rotate. Looks like we have a positive rate of climb, so I'm going to put the gear up. This will be the first flight in the 787 of any considerable distance for me. Uh, I've just been training on it and just flying circuits around uh, this airport. So this is a true test. Let's put this on autopilot. As we cross over Newport Beach. And there's Newport Beach on this uh, morning flight. Sun's still rising. There's a Balboa Pier and the Newport Beach Pier. So we need to make a U-turn, so to speak, and uh, head back east. Northeast, actually. Look how beautiful this aircraft is. It's the 787 Dreamliner from Boeing. Yeah, the ripples on the ocean look uh, very nice uh, in the simulator as does the sun's reflection, not only on the water, but on the aircraft as well. Let's get back inside and see what we're doing here. We're going a bit faster than we should have been. Uh, I believe the maximum speed when you're under 10,000 feet is 250 knots. So we were doing a little bit above that. And that's why we had that warning sound in the background. All is well now. We're heading back over Orange County. There's John Wayne Airport below and to the front where we just took off from. It's a nice morning with some scattered clouds. And there's the intersection triangle of the 73 freeway, the 405 freeway, and the 55 freeway. Our cruise altitude for this flight is only going to be 21,000 feet, so not too terribly high. It's a short flight, it's about an hour, not even. Uh, once we get 
cruising and, and stable and, and, and whatnot, uh, I'll probably speed up the video to not have you guys tortured by just sitting around waiting for the real time flight to happen. So let's turn off the landing lights. Let's check our route here and our star approach waypoints. We're going to be flying ILS approach to runway 01 left at McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas, KLAS. And these are some of the altitudes we'll have to be at for these waypoints. All right, let's look at our route on the multifunction display over here, the navigation display. See what we're up against. This is a pretty good altitude. We are you know, above the, definitely above the mountains, as well as uh, over the layer of clouds there. So once we cross over these mountains, we'll be out in the desert. Typically, when going over mountain ridges, you get a little bit of air turbulence. And speaking of which, this airplane is made out of composite material, mostly carbon fiber. It has a higher uh, strength to weight ratio than typical aircraft wings. And you can see it flexes a bit more. So having a little bit of turbulence through, over this mountain range will uh, demonstrate the flexibility of the wings. It, they also help to dampen the, the turbulence so the passengers you know don't feel as much turbulence or any at all if it's uh, if it's minor let's go back to our flight plan here can zoom out Alright, so we just passed the Basel waypoint on our way over to DAG. DAG is our next waypoint. Let's look at some of our flight levels that we'll need to be at. So at CLAR right there, C-L-A-R-R, -R, we have to be at 9,150. So there's the CLAR waypoint, 9,150 feet. So we're gonna prepare for that descent down to 9150. 
since the the altitude bug is only granular to hundreds of feet we should set it for about 9200 instead of 90 we can't do it at 9150 like it says right there so I'd rather be just a tad too high than too low because you never know what could be down there uh, you know mountain tops who knows so 9200 it is Okay, we'll start that uh, gradual descent. Again, we have to be at 9150 at the CLAR, C-L-A-R-R, -R, waypoint. And we have time. We are about 46 nautical miles from CLAR. And we're descending fairly rapidly, about 3,000 feet per minute. Actually, we're slowing that descent down now. We're about 1,800 feet per second. Yeah, the flight level change mode uh, has that descent rate somewhat variable. It's, it's adjusting because it, 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 we need to keep our current uh, indicated airspeed of 310 knots or so. So it'll, it'll adjust the vertical uh, rate of, of descent accordingly. Look at our legs. We should be able to intercept the ILS uh, localizer at around 5,300 feet at the no DIY waypoint. So while we are descending, I will probably this is probably a good time to speed up the video to to keep you guys uh, from being bored and bored and maybe you can be entertained I'll see you on the flip side quick wasn't it <laughs> so we're heading down to about 7,000 feet now which we at we are almost there we've slowed our airspeed down we're about 270 knots now and we the localizer just came alive so we're trying to lock onto it now and, and intercept it That's the pink diamond at the bottom of the primary flight display's artificial horizon display. So it looks like we have caught the localizer and it's uh, getting us in position, in a lateral position toward uh, the runway. camera views out here set just right all right and then we have a glide slope that looks like it's come alive and that's the other pink diamond on the right side next to the uh, altimeter uh, ticker tape
we should be intercepting the glide slope soon. We're getting down to the required 5,300 feet at the no DIY waypoint. There it is, we've caught the glide slope. You can see it adjusting the altimeter. Let's take a look out here. Uh, this will be a good time to lower the, the landing gear. Let me, let's get around to the front of the plane. And we can watch the, the gear come down. Okay, the front gear doors are open and the gear is coming out and the doors will close at least the rear doors that is okay I've turned on the terrain profile map uh, so we can you know see the the terrain uh, topography not that it matters we're away from the mountains now since we're on the final approach so let me check a few things out here as far as what our approach speeds and flaps and, and whatnot should be. Okay, 25 degree flaps, 30 degrees if I'm uh, like at 159 knots on my approach speed. So keep that in mind. Let's make sure we have armed our speed brake. And we're about 160 knots of speed right now, which is fine. Just before we get to the end of the runway, I will disengage the autopilot as well as the auto throttle. So right now we're going to slow down just a bit more to 149 knots and we're not now at full flaps so I'll be disengaging that soon and once those are disengaged it'll be full manual touchdown to the runway as I mentioned at the beginning of this flight this is the first flight of any substance that I've done in this particular aircraft other than just flying circles around uh, Orange County so this is the first time I've ever seen this airport actually I've never flown to it in any other virtual aircraft so I can't guarantee how the landing is going to go Three hundred feet coming in. We got the Pappy lights, two white, two red. I've turned off the autopilot and the auto throttle. I am in control. We have one white Pappy light, three red, so I'm a little low, but I think we're good. Ooh, a little, a little hot. Ouch. Okay. So uh, we bounced. Okay. A little reverse thrust to slow us down. It does appear that the aircraft is still in one piece. <laughs> That's good news. Reverse thrusters are off. I'll just be using the tow brakes. Let's see if we can get off at of this exit, <laughs> this taxi exit. Maybe going a little bit too fast. Come on, brakes, brakes. Slow down less. All right. Oh, turn, turn, turn. Brakes, brakes. <laughs> All right, let me straighten, straighten myself out in this taxiway. There we go. If I can 
keep it straight. Okay, let's do a little housekeeping here. Uh, let's turn off the landing lights. Turn on the taxi lights. And we don't need the beacon, the logo, and all that. I'm not sure where we're going to go, but we'll just pull over somewhere. We're, I don't have passengers, so it's not like we need to go to a formal gate with a jetway. We can just pull over anywhere in the parking area. Let's bring our flaps up. Put the speed back. Speed break back. Come on, stay back. There we go. I think we need to turn left. Let's hold up here. Okay, let's, let's go to the left. There's the stratosphere uh, casino tower thing in the distance. See it? And there's some of the hotels and casinos. Is that the MGM? Yeah, the MGM Grand is right in front of us there. The Pyramid is a Luxor. And the next to it, I believe, is Mandalay Bay. head down this way a little bit. Probably want to turn into this parking area before that little Cessna airplane up there. There we go. I'm still getting used to driving this thing on the tarmac. If I'm not overshooting a turn, I'm swiveling too much in place. I need to find that happy medium where I'm turning and going forward at the same time. <laughs> Let's see if I can try that out here. There we go. Yeah, okay. Well, getting used to it. Oh, got to watch out for that. Don't know why there's a bunch of trees or hedges. Am I going to hit it? Oh, uh, close. I almost clipped it. It's kind of a strange place to plant some shrubbery. Let's just park right here. Let's go back inside and see if we can't uh, shut this thing down. Okay. We've, we've done most of the housekeeping as far as the flaps and stuff so let's uh, let's turn on the APU for right now so we can shut down the engines and still have some some power okay let's shut off engine number one, two and number one parking brake has been set I did that right when we stopped so the two engines are off. APU should be on. Let's, uh, I don't think we need those anymore either. So let's just shut everything down. There we go. Now it's quiet. Turn off the, gener the APU generator, turn off the APU, and once we switch, let's turn these things off first. All right, got to 
figure out what I want to do next here. Okay, all the lights are off. We can turn off the de-icing, but it probably doesn't matter. We can leave them on automatic. We can sh shut off, uh, what are we shutting off here? Let's shut off the fuel pumps. We definitely don't want those on. Okay. And finally, let's shut the bat the main battery down. That'll that'll turn everything off. There we go. Now we are cold and dark. Let's take a look at uh, Las Vegas before we end this video. Do a quick uh, quick aerial survey above our Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Again, stratosphere is off in the distance toward the right. MGM Grand is the green glass hotel close to the front of us with the, toward the left. New York, New York are the colored buildings uh, next to the Grand, across the street from the MGM Grand, there's the Luxor Pyramid, Mandalay Bay to its to to the left of it. Uh, what do we have here? Bellagio is on the other side of the Luxor, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's head back. So I want to take this time to thank you for coming along on this flight with me. It was fun. I'm enjoying the 787. And until next time, happy flying.